Today I'm filling out my 2024 All-Star Game ballot. But first, let's set some criteria. Before we can decide who should and who shouldn't go to the All-Star Game, we have to decide what the All-Star Game really is. Is it a competitive event that showcases the best performing players of that year? Or is it an entertainment event that showcases the best talents the league has to offer? On one hand, the All-Star Game is a time capsule that honors the great seasons of guys who may have only had that one year they put it all together. Isn't it great? On the other hand, think of the best All-Star Game moments you can remember. The fun thing about the All-Star Game is seeing Superstar go head-to-head -head against Superstar. From a strictly viewer perspective, I wouldn't mind changing the name to the Superstar Game and only putting in the most talented and exciting players every year. But the lifelong baseball fan of me reminds me that those off years of mediocre players playing at an All-Star level deserve to be remembered. To an extent. So here's my criteria. By default, the best performing player at each position is going to be my choice for the All-Star Game. But, if players are close, I will choose the more exciting, more superstar level player. Sorry, Elliot Ramos. So without further ado, let's hop right into my 2024 All-Star Game ballot. So starting here at first base, I think the National League selection is pretty obvious for me. Uh, I think Bryce Harper arguably is the MVP of the league right now in the NL. Uh, him and Otani are kind of the one-two now that Mookie Betts have gotten hurt. So I think Bryce Harper is an easy pick for me. The American League first base, I think, is one of the more interesting conversations. Uh, for one, I definitely don't think it's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I think that this is kind of a fan favorite pick right here. I don't think he's been the best first baseman by any means. Um, and again, I do think there's that level of putting in the most superstar, most talented level player. But to me, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is more of a name than he is a superstar level player right now. The two names I'm kind of in between are Ryan Mountcastle, who looks like is second in the vote right now. Um, and for me, Josh Naylor, who I think has been very electric. I think he's been a big part of the Guardian success, kind of being that one-two punch with Jose Ramirez. And I think my vote is going to go to Naylor. Um, I think these two guys, Naylor and also Ryan Mountcastle, I think are at a similar level of superstar. You know, I think they have a similar level of uh, prestige among their names, but I do think Naylor is actually the more exciting player, and in terms of performance, I think they've been pretty comparable, if not Naylor being a little bit better, so uh, I'm going to go with Josh Naylor at first. Moving on to second base, again, I think the American League, the all-star is pretty easy for me. Um, I think it's Altuve. I think, you know, when you have a chance to put a guy who is probably a Hall of Fame caliber player, and he's playing at this level at this age, I think that's a slam dunk easy pick for me. Um, then on the other side, the National League, I do think is a little bit more open-ended. I hate that Luis Arias is leading the all-star vote. I mean, when you look at two players, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with Cattell Marte. But when you look at these two players, yes, Luis Arias is hitting 35 points better, but 15 homers compared to one, 42 RBIs compared to 19, and about 120 points different OPS. I don't see how you can pick Luis Arias over Cattell Marte. So I'm going to go with Cattell Marte at second base. Moving on to third base, um, I think there's some interesting conversation here uh, between, in my opinion, it's between Rafael Devers and Jose Ramirez. Uh, it looks like Jordan Westberg's getting a lot of love too. I think Jordan Westberg probably should make the game, but I don't see him as the top two choices. I think it's either Ramirez or Devers. Statistically, I think these guys are pretty comparable. Uh, but for me, I think the little bit more exciting player is Jose Ramirez. I think he's a little bit more deserving of the all-star vote. So I'm going to go Jose Ramirez there. Then on the National League side, um, I think it's pretty interesting. The, the interesting thing about the National League, and you kind of see how the voting has worked out, you've got the superstar Manny Machado, who, again, has not really performed, in my opinion, at an all-star level, against a guy like Alec Bohm, who I think is kind of growing into that talent level of his own. I do think he's got some, you know, excitement, some star appeal. Uh, but to me, he's definitely been the best performing third baseman. I think the only other guy I would compare him to right now would be Max Muncy. Um, but I think I would lean Alec Bohm. I'd go with him as my all-star at third base. So two Phillies and two Guardians so far for each league. Moving into the shortstop conversation, obviously a two-horse race here in the American League, Gunner or Bobby Witt. Uh, I think, to me, hands down, it's Gunner. I think he's in the MVP conversation. He's a super fun player to watch, so he fits that criteria as well. So um, Bobby Witt's been great, but I would go with Gunner Henderson there. 
And then for the National League, I think it's a little interesting. I'm not going to go with Betts just because he's hurt. Um, it's unlikely that he'll even be healthy for the All-Star game. So I do think it's interesting there because Trey Turner, the other kind of clear you know, pick here, he has been hurt this season as well. He doesn't have near the at-bats some of these other guys do. So I'm not going to pick Turner or Betts, who have, I guess, been the one and two here. Uh, I'm going to go a different route. I'm going to go with a guy who has both performed really, really well and also is very exciting. Part of me wants to pick Ellie De La Cruz. Um, he is the definition of an exciting player. I think he does kind of fit what the All-Star game is about. But a guy who I think is equally as exciting and also performing a little bit better is C.J. Abrams. I'm going to go with Abrams at short. I think he deserves it. He's been healthy all season uh, for the most part. He said, I know he has had a small injury state, but I think he's um, been on the field more than Mookie Betts and Trey Turner. So I think I'm going to go with Abrams and Henderson. What an exciting all-star game shortstop lineup there. And even if you go with Bobby Witt or Ellie De La Cruz, I think shortstop is very exciting in the all-star game. Moving into the catchers here, um, again, I think this one's interesting. I'm not going to go Wilson Contreras just because he's been hurt, so I don't think he's got quite the resume. Um, William Contreras is the interesting one. To me, I don't think it's between William Contreras and JT Romuto. I think it's between William Contreras and Will Smith. I think Will Smith has arguably been a little bit better, um, although you can say it's close, but to me, the more exciting player to watch and the guy I'm a little bit more excited to see is William Contreras. So I'm going to agree with the public there and go with William Contreras for my pick for the National League. Then for the American League, um, I do think it's between Salvi and Adley. Uh, to me, again, I think this is where I go. Who would I rather see in an All-Star game? Because I think these two guys are pretty comparable in their stats, and I would much rather see Adley than Salvador Perez. Uh, I think Salvador has had his chance as an All-Star. We've seen him a lot. I want to see Adley Rutschman there in the All-Star game, so I'll go with him. So we're going to pick three outfielders here. Um, I'm definitely not going to be picking Nick Castellanos. I don't know how he's getting a lot of votes. He's been not good. Um, but for me, <clears throat> it's interesting that that – Jerks and Profar is the number one. I do think he probably deserves it. You know, he kind of definitely doesn't fit that star power for me. Uh, I'm not a big Jerks and Profar guy, but I do acknowledge he's playing well enough. I will give him a vote there. The other two guys, I think, for me, I got to go with, uh, where is Fernando Tatis? I am going to go with Fernando Tatis. Um, has he performed at a superstar level? No, but I, you know, he's such an exciting player. I think he's done enough to grant being in the All-Star game. And I'm going to go with Yelich as well. Um, again, kind of with the Altuve thing, when you get a guy who is... I, I don't think Yelich is a Hall of Famer by any means, but a former MVP. He's playing at an MVP level right now. Uh, I think, for me, I'm going to go with Yelich there. Again, a couple guys that I feel like I left off um, that are close. But I think for sure it's going to be those three for me. Um, I don't think Elliot Ramos, despite him doing well, I know he has been hurt. I don't think he quite deserves an MVP or a all-star game vote from me. So moving into the American League, I think obviously Judge. Um, I know he had an injury thing, but I think he's already back playing now. But he'll definitely be back by the all-star game. So I'm going to go Judge. I think that's an easy one. Um, I think this is actually one of the easier ones. I'm going to go Soto and then Kyle Tucker. Uh, I think they've been obviously the best three outfielders in the league. So, yeah, I'm going to go Judge, Soto, Tucker, Profar, Tatis, and Yelish. And, again, if you look at my pick so far, I think this is a pretty nice combination of these star-studded players, you know, like Tatis, like Yelish, um, and then combining them with the guys who are having really great years that I think deserve to be in it, like Josh Naylor, like Alec Bohm, like C.J. Abrams. So I think we got a nice mix here for the All-Star game. The DH, I think, is probably the most – Easy position to pick. Uh, it's going to be Jordan and Otani. Uh, I think those two obviously are pretty easy. I think they've been the best DHs. You know, they've been two of the best DHs of all time, um, but definitely this year I think they deserve it. So here are my selections here as a whole. Um, as you see, I feel like we have a nice mix of getting the superstars in, like the Aaron Judges, the Sotos, the Tatises, as well as kind of the young upcomers, like Gunnar Henderson, like Adley Rutschman, and players like that. Uh, and then I think we've got some of the guys who are performing really well, like the Josh Naylors, like the Alec Bohms, you know, the guys who could be future superstars. So um, I think we got a nice mix here. I will say, looking at it now, um, probably... Wish I had a little bit more team represented here. I mean, the, the American League, look, has 
two of each team. I mean, we don't have a lot of team representation there, but I do think these are the deserving all-stars. So I want you to go ahead and give me a like for the players you agree with and give me a comment for the players you don't agree with. Who did I miss out on here? Uh, I definitely got to say, if you're going to tell me Luis Arise, I hard disagree with you. Uh, I think he should be an all-star, but I don't think he should be the starter at the second base position. Um, so Definitely let me know who you agree with, who you don't agree with. Give a subscribe if you enjoyed. I've got a lot planned for this channel. I've got some more long form videos that I want to put out that are a little bit more higher quality. Uh, and then I got some stuff like this that is a little more commentary, a little bit more reaction. So um, I'm excited for the future of the channel. Thank you all who have been supporting so far. And uh, thank you for watching.